I used to be a professor that was good at lecturing, and once in a while I got invited to Copenhagen. You know, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then in uh, 1998, Ola and Anna started to develop uh, software technology where I could really explain what I was talking about. And then I got invited all the way to California. First thing that happened was, and I prepared it here, uh, this graph. This was something, <laughs> this was something, to just display it, and that was not animation. And this was just displaying health here and wealth there. And then a bubble is the countries of the world. And, and this had an impact because people saw it was bubble all the way. Meaning that there are not two groups of bubbles, poor and rich, there are bubbles on all levels. And, and from that came, and that was a real, that I found out one evening in a split of a second to make this display after students rejecting my bar charts and trying to show this data in other ways. And then when students saw this, then they asked, but how did this happen? How did Singapore end up ahead of Sweden? When did that happen? And, and why is South Korea just like West Europe? So you had created a colorful, nice paper shot. It was actually quite beautiful. So we were attracted to it. If, uh, everything else uh -huh. he used to do was not that interesting. <laughs> but, but then suddenly he showed us this beautiful shot. And yes, like colorful bubbles is, bubbles is like aesthetically very attractive. So we looked at it. Wow, this is fun. This looks so nice. This is interesting. The setting I remember the most, that was most significant, I would say, was Ola was sitting in the middle with his hands on the keyboard and Hans and me behind his back, complaining constantly. And he actually managed to survive that. I, I, I would say that that has been... Yeah, you were complaining well, I, uh, behind my back. And then I, as mm -hmm. I, I listened to both of you there, yeah. and I tried to do the things you were talking about. And then I got a third idea or something, maybe like this. And you were like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. And I rearranged something and you say, ah. And then you continue. To, duh, 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 duh. But this, this, let me clear, this is the process between you really, because this is how I found you when you were working. It was like you were the captain standing behind Ola saying, no, to the right, to the left, no, a little greener, you know. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Ah, oh, it doesn't work. And I, I still remember that second when I saw the first bubble move smoothly, yeah. and I saw the beauty in the movement. You know, that it really moved and I could see the year pass by. It was like seeing an x-ray from your own body. You knew how it was inside there, on MR, and then suddenly it was there in front of your eyes. When we got very good uh, feedback, very often it's from like expert people, and they always tend to give suggestions about adding more complex features. So they basically want, to, want us to create a num numeric analysis tool or something. But I think the important part has been that we never wanted to do that. Basically, these tools exist. Experts can use them. But there is nothing out there that normal people understands today. And that is actually what we had focused on. Animation shows time as time. It is so forceful not to show time on an x-axis. It never changed a mindset. But when it is that movement is year by year by year by year, and, and I think also those flipping numbers which you designed with that, that big flipping numbers behind, nine, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. You said something, oh, but it's hard to follow this Chinese bubble doing this. And I said, well, there is a trail feature in directors. I just turned off the, the lever trail of the layer of the Chinese layer because I had animated each bubble in one layer. So I just turned on the trail and we could immediately see how China moved over the other ones, leaving a trail. And then I spent two months actually enabling the trail feature to be turned on by the actual user, depending on which country should, because if all of them leave a trail, it's just messy. If one does, you can follow it. I can remember one movement when you had done the first split of a bubble. The split is so, because we used average of countries, and that's so wrong, because many countries, you know, there are social differences, there are geographical or ethnic differences, and then you found out a way of splitting the bubble and letting the different parts fly away and land. And when the, that head of statistics in United Nations was standing at the conference in Stockholm, and you were showing him, and I, I was standing like, 15 meters away, and I saw when you came to the split, and the man went like this. I could see on his shoulder, you know, that he really reacted. Mm -hmm. So it was just that we measured how they reacted. Mm -hmm. If we heard, the, we called them wow presentation.
if we didn't get them, wow, you know, we had failed. 